Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Wednesday, <laughs> December 6th, 2023. I'm the Drunk Poker Root, Tis Beer Time. How you doing? It's Beer Advent Day 6. I am slowly going crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch. Crazy slowly am I going. Anyways, how are you? You doing well? You doing well? Midweek, midweek. <sighs> so I'm two days in, but I don't work till noon tomorrow, which we've already talked about today. So let's have some beers. What does Snowman Man have for me today? It's a shorter bottle. I have an idea. It's one of two or three beers that this could be. And I'm pretty sure it's from our pal and your pal, one of my super bureaus, Marky G. Marky G? No, Pauly G gave me this one, I bet you. Pauly G, yes, sir, for the win. Inkwell from our friends at Muddy York. Sherry barrel-aged Imperial Stout. It's a vintage. that They don't year them anymore. It's because it's it is blend. So there we go. That's from Polly. So Polly and Marky, I call them the Brothers G. They are my super bureaus because they're always getting beers that I couldn't get. And that's I love that. That's a good friendship there. They, all our friendships are built on beer. <laughs> and so much more. But the beer opened the door and then we became good friends. So that's awesome. So thank you, Polly. Polly's featured pretty prominently. So he wasn't getting these really cool ones. And guess who's getting this year's inkwells, even though he forgot to order them? This guy, because I'm because of my buddy Polly G. Yeah, I'm getting this year's inkwells because he didn't forget old Polk. And when he found out I didn't get him, he had extras. And he's like, I'm, I'm going to give them to you. So that's a good friend right there. Let's get into this. Muddy York, of course, is closing their iconic Toronto location. Now, they already have plans to open up a second location. Um, they were supposed to open a second location. But uh, capitalism at its best, greedy landlords up in the rent on that current place. And they're like, we can't afford that. That's ridiculous. Nobody should be paying that much money to rent this place. We've been here for a long, long time. Yeah, so that sucks. But at least they got another place to go to. And I guarantee you, where they new open this new place in the new year, or yeah, I guess the new year, um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Or maybe it's that late this year. I don't know. Whenever it opens, it's going to be amazing. And they're going to knock the socks up the small town they're going to be in. I'm telling you right now. Mm, smells rich. Again, I don't know a lot about sherry. But I do know that I've had a sherry one before, I think. And I loved it, so let's get into it. Cheers. Thank you, Polly. This is 11.9. Whoa. Whoa. Whew, that's a pretty boozy baby. I think he got me for this, this this last year. Got to be last year or the year before. I can't remember, and I apologize. I'm bad that way. But with cellar beers, they go in the cellar. And they pop out when they pop out. You know, we do this advent calendar every year. Accelerate the cellar. Drink the cellar. We want to go through it. This is a very rich, dark fruit, nutty, figgy, raisin, plum, um, tobacco, uh, dark chocolate. It is, it is very chewy. It's got some umami going on. Marms is eating a box. He does that sometimes. Wow. That's very rare. This is... Very rich, very sticks all around, right? It just has this heat that just lingers there. And it's it's undeniably beautiful. Now, we have been going to Muddy York since it was a, a metal shop, I believe metal shop, um, with a brewery in it, a little tiny brewery. And then it became the great brew pub that it is today, or the great, you know, that's not, I guess not a brew pub, so they don't really serve, they have food there, but the food trucks and that. Lake Fair, um, to what it is today, and it's gorgeous. And we love Jeff and Susan and the whole Muddy York team. And then moving to a new location was always going to be great. They're going to have two locations. It's going to be awesome. Now they're going to just have the one. That's fine, too. They make great beer, but more than that, they were great people. And a lot of the things that drew me to craft beer all those years ago were some of the people I've met. And I've maintained friendships with those people over the years. And they're not people I see all the time. Like, we only see them once or twice a year. Um, but the thing that makes that great is that they're just, they're this, it's like we saw you yesterday. And I have... Quite a few friends like that, and, and I wish we all lived closer together and we could hang out and drink beers, and, and it's not possible. And I'm okay with that. I'm becoming okay with, you know, these 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 periodic bursts of, of getting to see people and hang out with them, and I really do appreciate the times that we were able to do that, and I look forward to seeing Muddy York in their new location and just being amazed again and blown away by everything because this is the kind of stuff that, you know, he, the man knows how to make goddamn good beer. This is fantastic. Thank you, Polly. My Super Bureau. Cheers. Happy Christmas. It's coming faster than you can imagine. Cheers. That's so rich. Like this one? 
I got it. This is a pause right now. The world's going on pause while I drink this, and I love that. I think we're going to put on some Dean Martin Christmas specials because that's what I'm feeling right now.